There are two main ways to connect to the HPC systems of Erlangen Regional Computing Center from outside of the University of Erlangen Nuremberg. The first is SSH, a secure shell, and the second is No Machine NX. SSH is the standard way for most customers logging in from the outside. An in depth coverage of secure system access using SSH and options for best practices can be found under the YouTube link in the description box below. On Linux and macOS systems, you don't need to install any additional software because they already have built in SSH clients. On Windows, you can either activate the Windows 10 built in OpenSSH client. However, you will not have an X11 server, or you could install a separate app. You could either install the PuTTY client in a separate X11 server, link is again in the description box, or you could use Mobile Xterm, which I prefer as a means from logging in from the outside. Um, I'll demonstrate the SSH connections using Mobile Xterm, but the basic command and the command line options for SSH are the same on all systems. First of all, you have to remember that there's no possibility to connect directly via SSH to an HPC cluster at the University of Erlangen Nuremberg. You have to use a so-called jump host or dialog server, which in our case is cshpc.rze.fau.de. So you could theoretically log into cshpc with your account and then go to the HPC cluster from there. However, with SSH, both steps can be fused into one by using a method called proxy jump. With proxy jump, you instruct your SSH client to use the proxy host and immediately log in to a host behind the proxy host in one step. To do that, this is the command line you're going to use. Um, minus X is for X forwarding, minus J with its argument specifies the, <clears throat> the proxy host, the jump host, and its username at in our case, CSHPC, RSD, FAUDE. And then finally, we get the target host, username at, in our case, Maggie. And just like you have to do it with uh, both steps separately, you have to input your password twice. Now, if you want to save yourself from the hassle of doing that every time you log in, you can set up an SSH agent and an SSH key pair that takes care of this authentication process for you. And again, the details about that can be found in our SSH video linked below. Now, once you're logged in, you may want to do some work, like for example, editing files. If you're connected via SSH with X forwarding, we actually recommend using a text mode editor such as Vim or Nano in order to edit your files. Both are available on the Maggie front ends. If you want to do a graphical, um, if you want to use a graphical editor like Emacs, it's available. But as you might be aware, uh, using GUIs over a SSH tunnel uh, and a DSL line is not the most pleasant experience because of the long latency of the line and everything will be very sluggish. So that's not the uh, recommended way of doing things. One big disadvantage of logging in directly from your home machine to the target system, like Maggi, is that if your connection fails, then the shell session on the target host is terminated. And this can be very annoying when you're in the process of editing a file or um, having a job running, because uh, if you run an interactive job and your shell fails, then uh, your job will be terminated. So uh, you don't want that. So you like to keep your shells running even when you disconnect. This can be achieved using a terminal multiplexer like Screen or Tmux. Uh, there's a video linked below in the description that uh, demonstrates how to use Tmux in order to se uh, set up a session with multiple terminal windows that you can disconnect from and reconnect to any time. And even if your DSL connection fails at one point, you can always reconnect to the session. So we highly recommend doing that if you're uh, familiar with using uh, text mode SSH connections. If you prefer graphical user interfaces, then it might be an option to use no machine NX to connect to the RZE systems. 
No Machine NX is similar to Screen or Tmux in that you can establish, connect, and reconnect to a running session, but the session is not just a text mode window, it's a full graphical Linux desktop. So um, uh, looking at the basic principle is very similar to the Windows Remote Desktop feature uh, that you get with Windows Terminal Server installations. Now the first thing you have to do is to download the NX Enterprise client from the website, which I have linked in the description box below, and install it. Now when you fire up the NX client, the first thing you see is this screen where you can add new connections here. You give the connection a name, let's call it CSHPC. It's not necessarily the host name, the host name goes into the second field. And the full host name is cshpc.rze. .fau.de. Now, NX has uh, several different methods of connection to a target host, and here we're choosing SSH. All right, and then we can connect. Now it requires a username, which in your case is the username of the credentials you were given for access to the system, and your password. You can save the password, but we don't actually recommend that. You can log in. And then if you haven't logged in before, there's no session running already. So you could create a new one, and there's a selection of options, a GNOME session, a KDE session, and so on. I'm picking the GNOME session here. All right, so now it gives us a couple of options uh, as to how to handle the resolution of the window in the target session. And I usually prefer to change the remote display resolution to match the window. So however big you make your window on your client, uh, the resolution of the desktop on the target system will be adapted to match that resolution. All right, well, let's store that. We can go full screen and you see the resolution is automatically adapted. All right, that's our GNOME desktop. And the nice thing is you can now use it uh, like any other Linux desktop. And if you open a terminal window, you can connect to the target system, which is Maggie in our case. And here we are. Now, of course, if X forwarding is enabled, and by default it is, you can now use um, X11 applications without any problem and without uh, the long latencies that you usually have to endure if you do a direct X tunneling through a DSL line. And the next best thing with No Machine and X is that this session keeps running even if you disconnect the client. So, for example, <clears throat> if you go with your mouse cursor to the top right corner, you see that little, that little ear coming off, and then here you have a couple of options. Like you can uh, tune the connection information and you can also disconnect from the session. Now let's do that. Uh, if we disconnect from the session, it keeps running. Since we've configured the session in the setup, we can we have a little icon here. And by giving our credentials again, we can reconnect to that session. And you see everything um, was kept running. It's running as usual, which means if your DSL line uh, breaks down, then your session keeps running, your job keeps running, your editor uh, stays running, and you don't lose any data. So that's a very convenient way to connect to RZD systems from the outside using CSHPC as your NX No Machine host. The downside is that you have to install a client on your local machine, but it's very lightweight and it's available for all major operating systems. You even get a client specific for the Raspberry Pi.